My name is John McArdle. I have been in academia uh, for 46 years. I retired just last June. I served on the history faculties at Middlebury College in Vermont for 34 years. If you stick around long enough, they'll make you president. So from 1991 to 2004, I was president there. Uh, my wife and I thought we had pretty effectively gotten that out of our systems and anticipated simply riding off into the Champlain Valley sunset. And a few years later, Sewanee uh, came calling and we had 10 wonderful years uh, at the university. I went to Washington Lee with John. You know, as a senior, you became aware as they talked about graduation that the Sullivan Award was given to the student who had contributed the most in all aspects of student life to the university. There were three nominees for the Sullivan Award, and I was one of the two that didn't get it. But uh, since John and I were in each other's wedding, uh, it was one of those, if I couldn't get it, I was delighted he would. He got it. Once you are a Sullivan recipient, you're occupying a place in a long line. But while we hold our place in that line, we have a particular obligation to do as much as we can for as long as we can to make things as good uh, as we can. The phrase, a historian who is forward-looking, is a phrase that perfectly describes John McArdle. He's reading the past, but not as if the past is at a distant remove from us, but he sees how the past is simultaneously complicating and also enriching our present. For me, he would always be the person that I see as one of the greatest advocates at Sewanee for civic engagement and community engagement. Because of John's leadership, we really had an opportunity to intentionally and truly engage the surrounding community. He really understood the importance of collaborating with all different sectors uh, to work on compelling social issues. He believes in a vision and a spirit of generosity that's just really extraordinary, quite frankly. You know, he takes the time to appreciate the individual. When I think of John McArdle, I think of a man of high character. I think of a man who is a great listener, a great facilitator. He builds consensus, and I mean this when I say it. I want to be like him when I grow up. John's incredibly optimistic. His optimism keeps him going. And also, he's got a great partner in his wife, Bonnie. And Bonnie is a formidable force in getting things done. But it certainly is a team effort, and they support one another 100% of the way. Dr. McArdle has a saying that I heard at the very first staff meeting I went to, and it was, Every human interaction is an opportunity for education. I think it's impactful, but when you see the reaction of the students when that happens, it's amazing. It really, really is powerful. I was highly impressed by his ability to engage people in a ceremonial way, in a kind of ritual way, in the ceremonies of which we have many at the University of the South, uh, making people feel welcome and excited uh, that we were operating under a, a robust vision of what higher education is. The imaginative reach of John McArdle is the ability to connect. And he has this expansive, imaginative ability to connect with individuals according to their experience. Well, John was recognized as a student by this Algernon Sidney Sullivan Foundation. At that time, they recognized something special about this young man who was graduating from college. And I think his life has shown to be the fulfillment of that very special quality that was identified when he was a young man. So it's not a surprise to me at all that he's being recognized yet again by this same organization. In the words of the old uh, spiritual, you're right in the corner where you are. I think service means taking where you are and taking whatever gifts you may possess and in that place and with those gifts, uh, trying to be of service. What gives life to a living is paying attention to the world beyond your own self, 
uh, beyond your own boundaries, learning, never stopping to learn, and always, always trying, the great historian once said, to broaden the limited reach uh, of one's own understanding. Uh, what better way to broaden that reach, what better way to broaden that reach than to serve one's fellow human being?